Today is Panantukin Day, or some Kali Empty Hands. And I'm just working some basic techniques with some combinations. And I figured, let me just go ahead and put them on video and share them with you because maybe you want to work on some of your Panantukin skills and techniques as well. And these are some great drills. You can do these drills, just kind of shadow boxing with them in the air. You can work them on a heavy bag. Or if you have a training partner, you can take some turns holding some focus mitts for each other and get a good workout in. Whether you're training solo, whether you're training with a partner. I just love training the empty hands of Kali. Let's go on in here and go get some training in. It's a little bit of a brisk morning, so this is a great time to uh, be working on a heavy bag or my buddy Bob here with some kind of cold hands. But the first combination that I'm gonna be working is just some basic classic punches. We punch in Kali, we punch in Panantukin, okay? and we typically like to punch a little bit more to the soft targets, but we're gonna work some uh, head shots as well uh, with Bob here for some good hand conditioning. Now, when we're punching here, I'm just gonna stick with the simple one-two jab cross combination. I like using this combination just to warm up. And I like to start off just warming up on the body of Bob here. You know, it's not as pointy, gets the hands warmed up. You can really just focus on getting your hips turned into it, stepping with the jab and really torquing that back hip into that cross. You can go into you know, the plexus, go towards the sternum, go towards the stomach, maybe hunt for that liver and spleen. And eventually start working my way up to the face. Maybe split it a little bit. Now in Kali, we'll actually strike with two different kinds of punches, which are pretty classic. But we have the rotation, we're gonna punch with a more horizontal kind of fist. You see this in every martial art, very common. And we like this one because you know, it puts a lot of good snap at the end of the punch. So you really get to maximize that penetration of the strike and that power. However, also in Kali, sometimes we'll punch with that vertical fist. And this one is just a little harder to see, you know, for your opponent to see it. It's a little bit less telegraphed. So it can really just come out really quick and then return so that way you can fire multiple shots. So sometimes, I like working a little bit of a combination here with a vertical fist on the jab, making it harder, less telegraphic for the opponent to read it, and then following it up with that rotation in the cross. So one and two. So something you can play around with when you're working this basic combination. Now that I'm getting warmed up, Jacket can come off. Another Panatukan combination I like to work is working the elbow to back fist. So we get a little bit of elbow striking techniques and the back fist striking technique as well. And this one, typically, right, we're gonna be a little closer in so the stance could be a little bit more staggered because we're in fighting this time. And I like to come across right to the chin or right to that optical orbit, the cheekbone, then going right across to the elbow, and then coming back with the back fist to the other side of the ear or temple. And the same thing, coming back, coming across with the elbow and back fist. So we can work this all to the head. And then I also like to train it where I'll take the elbow shots to the body and then the back fist back up to the head. So that way we can work on some elevation change with the strikes. Just like we did with the previous drill, striking to the body and head or striking everything up on the high line. So elbow to back fist. All right, 
So that's it. That's all I'm working today. Just two basic Ponitukin combinations to get some of my empty hand training in. We don't need this huge barrage of drills to train. We just need a good two, maybe three solid drills for each training session. That way each training session has specific focus and you can just work on the technique and work your way up to getting a good workout in. Remember, training is all about quality, not the quantity of how many techniques that you're doing, but the quality of your technical training and skills. If you want to see more combinations just like this, whether it's Ponitukin or on any of the weapon categories of Kali, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comments what area of Kali would you like to see some combinations that I like to commonly train. And make sure to subscribe to Kali Center and go check out our online school over at KaliCenter.com. Join us over there for exclusive on-demand training, monthly live stream classes. You can even access one-on-one -on -one coaching and join the community and let's train and have fun. I'll see you next time.